Hey friends and FGeeks and welcome from Elliot Trudeau, one of Montreal's international airports. Today's flight report is gonna be a bit different as it was planned. Originally I was booked on Air France A350 flying back to Paris and after that to Berlin, but the workers in Paris are on strike, so our flight was cancelled. After spending hours and hours in the hotline of Air France and after heavy discussions, they managed to book me on Lufthansa's A350 flying back to Munich. So let's check out what Lufthansa can offer us on the overnight long-haul flight from Canada to Germany. We got some time left, so here we can see one of Air Canada's Boeing 787 going to London. When they depart, our plane should arrive. And there it is, one of Lufthansa's A350s. This plane originally was from Philippine Airlines, so when you're flying on one of these planes, you have different seats than in the normal Lufthansa planes, which means when you're traveling business class, you've got a way better experience than on the normal seats. For us in economy class, the difference is quite low. Let's hop on board and check it out. On the seat we already have a blanket and a pillow waiting for us, which is very welcome since this is an overnight flight. The seat pocket is quite spacious and contains the safety card as well as some magazines. The seat itself is quite comfy, we have a coat hook over here. The tray table folds out like this and is adjustable. And the legroom is also pretty good for a long-haul flight. The entertainment screen is big and modern and is equipped with a USB power outlet as well as a headphone jack. It looks like the flight map needs some time to rebuild. As I mentioned earlier, the flight with Lufthansa wasn't planned, so everything was a last minute thing and I don't have a window seat. I hope you will forgive me that we don't can enjoy the nice wing view, but I will give my best. We are already taxiing, so let's lean back together and enjoy the start from Montreal.
Personally, I don't like overnight flights because I can't really sleep on planes and it's dark outside so you can't see anything. Plus today the flight map isn't working so I'm a bit sad about that. But we got some time to watch some movies, let's check out the entertainment system. Lufthansa's IFE offers a good selection of different movies, TV shows, music and other stuff. There are better offers at the market but it's pretty decent. The crew now goes around for the first drink service. We have a good selection of different juices, water, tea and coffee, as well as some alcoholic beverages. I am going with a red wine first. And right after the drink, the meal service starts. The presentation looks pretty nice. We have one option for dinner, the pasta with cheese sauce and vegetables. Besides, we have a fresh looking salad, a delicious looking cake for dessert, some bread, crackers and this cheese from Quebec. To drink I went with a white wine. And we got the metal cutlery as usual in Lufthansa's economy class. All in all a decent meal, tastes very good. Let's check out the bathroom. It's nothing too special, just basic A350 bathroom, but everything's clean and working, so I guess it's solid. Now the crew is already dimming the lights, so I will watch some movies and try to survive the night and we will see again when the sun rises over the Atlantic. I am very tired now, so I am happy that the crew starts to prepare the breakfast service. And here we have a 5 star airline breakfast, a muffin and 4 slices of fruit. That is so weak. Lufthansa, I really, really hope you can fix that in the future. That is not breakfast, that is a starter, I don't know, it's a joke. We are already discanding into Munich, so let me tell you my final thoughts about this overnight flight with Lufthansa. The flight was quite okay, it's an overnight flight so the service is a bit reduced because they want the passengers to sleep, I can understand that. The dinner service was very good, the food tasted good, especially the cheese from Quebec. There were enough drinks, everything was fine so I can't really complain about that. But they really ruined the flight for me at the breakfast. I thought the breakfast was hilarious, I know they can do it better. All in all the flight was pretty okay, but I'm not sure if I normally would book that. I'm happy that Air France managed to arrange that, because I really need to get home. And I got 7000 miles for an economy flight one way, so I don't want to know how much Air France had to pay last minute. I'm happy that everything worked out. What are your experiences with Lufthansa recently? Let me know in the comments. And with that hard landing and the bus boarding, I say thank you for being around with me on this trip. Have safe travels as always and goodbye.